you sell Duke to a, to a really good prospect? We know a lot about our institution, but it starts with people. I tell everybody the same thing. I want you to pay a lot of attention to the locker room. And they look at me funny, and I'm not talking about the color of the lockers or the size of the locker room or how good the carpet is, is who's in it. Um, my mother taught me when we lost our father, two things are going to shape the, the person you'll become, who you choose to associate with and what you read. And that first one, I know I've lived and I know it's true. And this is a decision that a parent and a young man can't afford not to make. And then we obviously talk about the doors that Duke opens and the opportunities that exist. And when we first started, it was hard, really hard. And we didn't have a full-length practice field, you know. And we really had an ugly backyard for I you. remember. It's right next to my house. Yeah, I know. So <laughs> we improved Dr. Broadhead and Cindy's view Sorry. greatly, I promise you. <laughs> but our practice facility lets some players also know that these guys are serious about it. My job is to give them the very best football experience they could possibly have anywhere compared to anywhere in the country, and we do that. And then they get this unbelievable opportunity of a Duke education and to be around people from all over the world and be around exceptional people. And again, it goes back to who you associate with. If we're providing a really great football program, how could you tell us no? Are you ready to sign? I am. All right. <laughs> You had me at hello. All right. <laughs>